If you're applying for a master's in computer science, it can seem confusing what is required in your application to make it more stronger. One thing that I think is important in your application is to avoid what not to do. In this video, I'm going to discuss a few things that you should avoid and not do when you're applying to your master's in computer science. The first thing is, don't apply to the wrong program. Not all masters in computer science programs are made equally. One thing you really want to look at is what requirements they are looking for in an applicant. Is this a program that is geared towards non-computer science majors? Or are they looking for CS majors and people with technical backgrounds? Is it more of a research degree or is it more based on curriculum? You really want to look at the program website and application so that you're confident of what the requirements are and if you meet them appropriately. When I was applying to different master's programs in computer science, I applied to a couple programs that required a technical background. And subsequently, when I got the decision back that I didn't get into the program, I later wasn't surprised because I didn't have a technical background myself and these programs required either a CS major or a technical background. So be sure when you're applying to a program that you know that you meet any of their strict requirements. Otherwise, you'll be wasting your time applying to that program. Now the second thing is, don't write a mediocre personal statement. As you're working on your application, you may come across something known as a personal essay, personal statement, or statement of purpose. Now what this is, is basically an essay where you have to describe your intentions, your goals, maybe your experience, but ultimately why you're applying to this program. Now it's important to know that a well-written statement will detail your specific goals and you can speak to that with a previous experience, some accomplishments, or maybe personal hobbies or passions that you currently have. Here is just another opportunity to convey your personality and your commitment. Now sometimes this section may be especially crucial for your application if you come from a non-computer science or technical background. I say this because this can speak more to any previous academic or work experience that you have and show why you are applying to that program and why that program would be a best fit for you. So when I was writing my statement of purpose to the program that I'm in right now, I mainly discussed how the career that I was interested in, either software engineering or data science, would be very difficult for me to acquire, especially an advanced role, if I did not have a technical background, let alone a advanced degree in one. I specifically laid out my goal of why I'm applying for a Master's of Computer Science so I can learn technical coursework and I can apply that in my career. So I highly recommend that you put a lot of effort in your statement of purpose and you continue to revise it with people that you trust and they're familiar with your experience or work and that you really spend a lot of effort trying to show and explain why you're a good fit for this program and why it meets specific goals that you're interested in. Finally, don't apply without a plan. So what do I mean by this? Well, it sounds good if you have a master's degree in computer science. Just even thinking about that makes you feel smarter or more professional. And it sounds very nice that you have this image of knowing a lot about computer science and you know a lot of technicalities and you seem to have this ability of programming or have a deep understanding of maybe computer science fundamentals and knowledge, you should be able to ask yourself and explain to another person, why do I need a master's degree in computer science at this point in my life and at this point in my career? You need to know for yourself personally and explain it professionally why you need to go through this program at this point in time. How will this program bring you closer to the future career that you desire? I believe that it's important to demonstrate your motivation throughout the application to take up this program despite the time, energy, and money that it'll cost. You really want to show that you can succeed in the program and that afterwards you will be successful in whatever career that you're going into at that point. Right now, as I'm studying for my master's in computer science, Every day as I'm learning and studying and doing assignments and showing up to office hours, I really do feel like I'm coming closer and closer to my future career in computing. And this drive and sense of learning is what you want to show and indicate in your application wherever possible. 
But anyways, those are just a few tips of what I recommend not to do when you're applying to your master's program. Are you currently applying to a master's in computer science right now? If so, what do you hope to get out of it and what do you want to learn? Anyways, if you're new to this channel, my name is Cedric. I'm a current master's in computer science student. And on this channel, I make videos about lifestyle, education, and growth. If any of that interests you, please consider subscribing. But anyways, thanks for watching.